So I've been helping a friend mow their yard lately and been using one of them plug-in mowers. Not only does it lack power, but I'm constantly dealing with those extension cords. It just so happens that I have almost all the components to make myself mow. I just needed a blade and the rear wheels. I plan on putting these components on a go-kart later, so I thought this would be a good rundown. On to the build. Here we are measuring the blade length, 21 inches. Cut out simple square construction. Bam. Line it up. Make sure we got a clearance again. Oh, that's always important. And screw in some pilot holes. Add some glue and then three inch deck and screws for good measure. Here we go, more glue. Got the clamps going. Transfer the motor mount holes, drill it, bam. Insert the bolts. I think these are 5 16 Check blade height. We added some more supports for mounting. Clamp it in and then use those holes as the guide for drilling the mountain holes right through the two bucks. With the motor mounted, the next thing to tackle would be the wheels. So you're gonna to wanna to keep these level and somehow raise them lower. So these are the supports the wheels will sit on. Use them as a guise to drill through the two by fours here. Now comes the time to weld everything up. First thing we gotta do is remove the galvanized coating from these caster wheels. Grinder does the trick, nice and quick. Get it set up with this clamp, tack it in place, everything square, these are the rear axles. I added some gussets here so we could whip this thing around without having to worry. Once they were fully welded, I slotted them down on the bolts and took it for a little spin. I thought if it could hold my weight, it would be good enough for the mower. To adjust blade height, so you wanted to make it higher, screw down these bottom ones like this, and then you just run them in to where you want it. We're gonna remove the sprocket, mount, weld the blade to it, also come up with some sort of deck so you're not just throwing shit. It'd be kind of cool to have like a window somewhere. That red Loctite doing these set screws dirty. The lawnmower blade and the sprocket both have a seven day shaft. So I'm gonna use it as a guide to weld the blade on. It fits quite nicely. Time to add some Loctite, get everything set and secure. Just sand it off the shaft a bit so it goes on smooth. Now that we got the mower together, it's time to move on to the batteries. We're gonna be using these guys. Great deal from battery hookup, 307 watt hours. These have a 100 amp continuous rating. So we're gonna stack three of them in a parallel and get 300 amps to this motor. Hook up a BMS and be good to go. It'll be a little overkill, but I'm gonna be using these uh, you know, motor setup and everything for a go-kart later. First thing we're gonna do, test the voltage. 51.9. We'll try to get them all about equal before we hook them up. Looks like they just come out. Bam. Give it some pressure. Oh, God. Bam. 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 Once everything's clipped, it should just pop right off. Either we're going to reduce this voltage or bring these up a little before everything gets connected in parallel. Once they were close to connecting them in parallel, to let everything equal out before connecting the balance leads. I'm making these a little longer so I can just do them all while it's flat and then stack them. Here we are connecting all the balance leads together, making sure everything was in the right place. So this is quite the rat's nest, according to these blurry directions. Should be wired correctly, I hope. We're gonna take these modules and stack them on top of each other and then add some threaded rods so they're all kind of held in place. Get the drill. We're gonna try a step drill bit. Hopefully we don't mark it like we did the first one. Oh yeah. Should have done this one from the beginning. That's what we're talking about. A drill makes running in these nylocks a lot quicker. I should have made these longer. God damn it. That one. Oh. The f does that mean? Beep is it? It's like balancing out. I hope. That's working out nicely. Next step, get all this cleaned up, this rat nest. Get our blade balance, maybe sharpen it up a bit, and add some handles and start cutting some grass, see how it goes. Looks like it's our heavy side. We're gonna grind a little bit off, then check it again. There we go. Fully on the shaft, we, we like just barely skimmed these bolts here. Like that, you got clearance. Can't forget about the handle. Kind of eyeballed the angle here, wanted about hip height, tacked it in place, and I gave it a little test drive. 
This right here, big mess. But if we cover in some wood, might not look half bad. Once again, that drill coming in clutch with these nylocks. So, as a quick fix, turn into good old hot glue. Bam. I just use hot glue on these panels here because I kind of want to make it semi-removable in the future. It looks about centered. I can't guarantee. Kind of mount this battery. We're going to just screw it with the all thread slack that we got. Got ourselves some spacers. We have to come up with some kind of throttle. We got to mount the controller, all this steel, and then get the wires cleaned up and then maybe take it for a little test mo. That's some thin metal. Hi, the battery. Okay, one thing we need is some cover here, uh, both for protection, you know, keep grass and whatnot from getting up in the motor. I'm gonna do one there, one there. Let's try it out. It just so happens that the cutoffs fit right into this little space. I was accidentally recording slow-mo for the next few clips, so there's just no audio. Just filling up the voids in the deck, mounting the controller. In this part, I'm basically explaining that this control does not work with a Hall Effect type sensor like you'd find on an e-bike or scooter. So I had to go with the resistive type. Here that bottom cable was accidentally resting on the frame and that ratchet was not insulated. So that's what happens when you're just not paying attention and you got some amps to work with. The electricity took a chunk out of the metal pretty quick. Good little stress test for the batteries. Just keeping it simple with the BMS mounted and just some double-sided tape does a trick. Ended up using a potentiometer for a throttle, which worked out nicely. We've been driving around looking for some lawn grass to cut, and I think we found a nice test spot. Look, we got this little lane to do. It's a summer solstice, beautiful day. This thing's kind of heavy, but it ain't impossible to get in and out of the car, because it's got good handles. That's the main thing. Oh, you gotta be careful. It, uh, there's a board on here. So you gotta adjust it. Yeah, it was hitting this. Now what? what you need to do. Yeah. It's making where it's gotta climb. Oh, so push it forward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the next step. The end of the blade is hitting the wood here. Hit the f*** over here. Honestly, maybe I'll just keep running it and then it'll just, it'll chip itself away. Or I can just take them off. That might be a better idea. Actually, I think I'm going to fix that issue. Source of the noise, these guys weren't screwed down. See that? Oh, that one. Which also sprayed grass everywhere. The blade is taking chunks out of this. I'm gonna take this off and put some thinner wood on. Oh, did I glue this one? Shit. It's glued in, which means it saws all the time. We'll just cut the pieces out where it's hidden. That sort of business, the blade needs like a spacer so we can, when we bolt on to it to the shaft, it has something to push against. It's kind of got some wiggle, because this is fully bottomed out, but there's some room in the back. Ooh, shiza. Let's see if it comes off easily. No. Got ourselves the spacer. That should, oh, where's our, where's our key stock? I'll find the key stock in a second. Gotta get that locked tight. I don't know what the torque spec is, but it's torques. We're back at it again. Our locks were on, so we weren't thrashing around the van. Bam, that's a feature. What do we got here, Mike? Oh we yeah, got we some got some lawn grass. Lawn grass. We got like mole hills, okay? Blackberry bushes, whatever this is. Some it's, kind of weed. It's like a whole variety of what you might encounter. Should we give her a go? Let's do it. We're about half charged, so that's like a real world test. Oh, here we go. some issues with the cast wheels. You see the soft dirt right here? It kind of just dug a hole. Oh wow. So maybe uh, version number two, larger caster wheels. But Large. this is just what we had. How's the cut? It's 
pretty nice it's cut. Looking, yeah, really cut this. What's for the camera on the bottom? See what we can get. Okay, cool. So we're gonna mount this camera on the bottom. I don't know what we're gonna see. So we'll just see what we see, you know? <laughs> we got the blue blank. If the blade hits this, it's over for the camera. Yeah, bye bye. Let's see if our camera survives. Oh yeah. Hello there. Well, we might have got us some things before it got plastered. <laughs>